Rodin, who created an identical coiling, which he calls the Rodin coil. Uh, but it's the same exact coiling used in the sport model crafts with a toroidal or donut shaped uh, accelerator. So if you use the right hand rule to trace all the magnetic field lines generated by this coiling, you'll find that they max at infinity in the center of the torus, around like the inside, the very inside, and they sort of swirl around in a vortex pattern around that infinity max down at the, the very center of the container. It's sort of a spiral within a spiral, like it's a spiral that's spinning around the circle, which um, this generates an extremely powerful magnetic field. Uh, that swirls the fluid around inside at incredibly high speed, uh, about 60,000 RPMs. So that's basically a thousand revolutions every second. Um, and this creates the anti-gravity effect, and that's how it works. That's how to build it. That's all the steps need. You just need the refrigeration unit, the magnetic coiling, and a superfluid. And it's a perfectly spherical container. It would help to make the container out of something really strong because the forces that are generated by this will rip the container literally apart because you need, you need a really strong container. The um, containers that they use are made of a specialized uh, aluminum alloy. It's, uh, it's like nothing you've ever seen before, but I'll have more on that in another video later. I just wanted to get the plans and everything up on the anti-gravity device and, and, and the anti-gravity centrifuge engine so that people could see how these UFOs fly, what sort of propulsion system they're using. And, um, you know, of course, the only way to debunk this is to make your own and, and see if it works. I'm sure you could find some superfluid to use that would also have ferrofluid properties, but, of course, you're going to need cryogenics lab and a bunch of scientists. Um, let me know if you need any help.